Hello YouTube, it's Eric here, and today I'm making a video on how to build yourself a Raspberry Pi 2 case. And if you're uh, thinking of getting yourself a Raspberry Pi, a case would be really good for you, because it will protect your Pi, of course, and it will be uh, portable, like you can say. So, if you make a case for yourself, except of paying five dollars, you're saving money. And like this case that I have made here, it looks pretty cool. What I would will do is paint these bricks all white everywhere around, and maybe these on top too. So there's two models to do this. So here, let's get started. If you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, uh, you're probably like you're just checking it out just to see what video I just posted. <coughs> a Raspberry Pi <coughs> excuse me. A Raspberry Pi is a is a small model a small model uh hacking slash programming computer. It's mostly for programming but some people say it's like a hacking computer but it really isn't. So here's a little printout of the Raspberry Pi model B plus and this is just uh this is the older version. This is a case for Raspberry Pi 2. But like you can see it, the old version kind of fits too. But it won't fit perfectly because uh, I keep on saying the B plus case doesn't work for the Pi 2. So, yeah. But this case, I measured everything. So this on top, uh, sideways, by the length, it's supposed to be 85 millimeters. And the height, or the side view, whatever it's called, it's supposed to be 39 millimeters. And, and up, I just did uh, three bricks, three Lego bricks, and it was perfect. So you can make it out of any color you want. So, and this is like the roof for it. Here, let me put it on top with this hole in it, so it's with the hole in it, so that it will, so it will vent. Late, and I will put a little 35 millimeter or a 45 millimeter or a 40 millimeter fan, and it will be right just perfect. So, like you can see, if you look in, you can see the CPU, and uh, that's the that's the CPU, that's the CPU, HDMI core, HDMI port, and the volume or another yellow cord, but I don't know what it does. On the Raspberry Pi 2, there's uh, four USB 2.0s. One two, one two, and the internet cable connection over here. In the back, there's a micro SD card, and over here there's a micro micro HDMI, like you use for your Android Android phones, Android charger, and it's really good. Yeah, you can like you can like the first time when you get it, you don't have to get yourself a, a full uh, a USB 2.0 battery pack, carry thing, thing bobber, whatever it's called. You can just connect it to the wall output and just start running it so you can see how it works. So I think I'll be getting myself a Raspberry Pi but Dad said I need to get better grades or something. So how it holds on is, is these uh, plated uh, plated Lego pieces on top and then there goes one piece over here that holds it down and one piece on the roof over here holds it down and you just put it down and it snaps into place if it when it snaps it snaps into place and it's tight if you don't wiggle it around and it looks a pretty cool case you got some windows on here some windows back here windows here so like I said it's uh, three bucks high I made a two layer of pieces to make it uh, uh, strong, then I got a little bit. I was thinking of for, at first of covering it all in tin foil, but I feel like that's gonna take too long. So I got a little bit of tin foil, put on the yellow piece over here, some blue uh, plated plates, so they will hold up uh, the Raspberry Pi a bit. This is just a paper thing. Just don't think this is the computer. So it will hold up the plate, so that the micro SD card will, because it's under. The, the mother, the the board, whatever it's called. So, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. 
If you want to see any ripstick videos, click here. And if you want to see anything else, comment in the description. Comment in the comment section below. Down there, yeah. So thanks for watching. Peace out. And I forgot to say the second way you're doing it. Second way of doing it is just not even putting these pieces on. Okay, let me take them off. And this little and just leaving it on like this. And you just put it on like this. And it's not snapping in. And I keep and you see it's on. And that would be stronger but it's not like if you want to keep on looking at it inside of it that's not the way of doing it and quicker if you don't have any tiles so what I forgot to say is there's uh, there's three or four models of Raspberry Pi this is their logo and this is the Raspberry Pi model B plus like this one a print out of it well this case is made for Raspberry Pi uh, 2 model B and it is the newest one with one gigabyte of RAM, a uh, four core CPU, and it's only thirty five bucks. You can probably find an eBay for forty dollars, but it's cheap. And in the smallest and the cheapest and the oldest model is the Raspberry Pi A model A plus. And if you wanna get any like mouse pads like these or make your own, you can go on Shutterfly.com and make yourself some I'm not getting sponsored by Shutterfly I hope I, I wish I was but just showing you this you can make some nice net mouse pads and if you want to get this right one I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you can buy yourself one if you want to thanks for watching guys and peace out